I'm Belle Mooney, and this is the Princess Anne Wing at the Royal United Hospital Bar. I want to tell you about our campaign to build a brand new intensive care unit for newborn babies right here. Because, believe me, these special babies need space to grow. the newborn intensive care unit known as NICU. Every year around 500 babies, that's one in ten in the area, are treated here. This is Debbie Slocum who's the matron here. Hi Debbie. Hi. What's the chief issue with the unit? It's lack of space. Uh, this is one of our single rooms. Um, at the moment we've got twins in there which is lovely because there's one set of parents but sometimes we have different babies from different families and two sets of parents and it gets very crowded. It is quite tight in the unit, you know, we're lucky because we've got two, so in a sense, you know, it's one set of parents between two children, but we have noticed that when, we're, when we've been in a bigger room with more babies, you know, when we have visitors and they have visitors and, you know, it's, it, it's tricky, isn't well, it? Well, you can't I mean, all have visitors know. at the same time. This is our main intensive care room, Belle. As you can see, there are four incubators here. Um, our equipment's got quite big and it's quite difficult to manoeuvre. These incubators, when you've got doctors and nurses working with a baby, it's very, very cramped and you can hardly move. Tom, this is Toby. Mm -hmm. How old is he? Um, he's well, he was born at 27 weeks, he's now 33 weeks. Um, so he was born 13 weeks before he should have been born. Was that scary? Very, very scary. <laughs> it, uh, it completely took our breath away when they said, we're going to have a premature baby. If you could wave a magic wand and make this unit different in any way, what would it be? Uh, it would have to be bigger. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm very, very happy with the care he's getting, but it is congested. Um, sometimes you have times where there's lots of doctors around one incubator and the best they can do for privacy is to put up a screen. There are lots of health and safety issues. We have wiring for the equipment trailing around the floors and we have to be very careful we don't fall over them. It gets very hot and staff get quite dehydrated, especially in the summer. The lights we have here are either very bright, we can dim them, but we haven't got individual lighting at each baby space. If it's in the middle of the night and we need to do something to a baby, all the lights go on in the room, so all the babies are disturbed. I'm Bernie Martin, a consultant in the paediatrician. The nursery is a very intensive environment. The equipment at times is very noisy. The people involved in delivering the care can at times be, be noisy. And indeed the babies themselves create their own noise. We have to have some very difficult conversations with some of the families, things don't always go very well on the neonatal unit and it's important that families feel that we can give them the, the space and the time that they need to absorb some of the information. But what we really need is space that brings us right up to date to be able to allow our babies to grow and develop. This rather uninspiring place is the site for the new building but it will be of course transformed by a sustainable light bright building. And when you come in to the front door, instead of the cramped, dark space you have now, there'll be lightness, there'll be brightness, there'll be works of art, there'll be high ceilings, there'll be natural ventilation. It'll be an altogether uplifting experience, and I hope a sense of optimism will pervade it. At the moment, it's rather a sense of hard work, endeavor, in very difficult circumstances. It'll be an inspiring place to work, and it'll be a place where mothers and babies get better sooner. David Radford is an architect, but he's also a father with first-hand experience of this unit. You enter this world which you're entirely unprepared for. We were in at least twice a day for that six months, and it becomes your world. I mean, it is the most frightening experience I think I've ever had to deal with. The 
Look at the size of these. I agreed to become president of this appeal because I really feel involved. You see, both my own children were premature and in units just like this one. So I really know how these parents feel. We need to raise 4.5 million, aiming to complete in 2010. We can do it with your help. So please, please help in whatever way you can to deliver a new standard of care for the sake of the staff, the parents, and these very special babies. Niku needs you.